It seems like quite a while ago we talked about variables, but now that uh, we're working with blocks of code inside of blocks of code like we had here in lines number 23 and then 29 through 31, uh, we need to talk about variable scope. And when I use the term scope, I mean variables are a little bit like people in so much that variables have a lifespan. They're born, they do work, and then they die, and they're removed from computer's memory when they go out of scope. And we'll see an example of, of that in just a moment. But they're also like people in so much that they have a citizenship, I guess you can say. In other words, depending on where they were born, they can work inside of some code blocks, but not other code blocks. And so the remainder of this video, we're gonna look at lifetime, and availability or citizenship, I guess you can say, inside of the rest of your application. So let me create a new file and we're gonna call this Scope Basics. And there will be more to say about scope as we move forward and learn more about functions and so on in just a little while here. But let's start and uh, create a first example here. So let a equals first. Then I'm going to create a function called scope test. And inside here, I'll just do a console.log. And the first thing I want to see is if I declare a variable out here, outside of my function, can I reference it inside of my function? And so to find out, let's just call scope test and see what we get. So here we're going to type node scope basics and we can in fact view the value of a variable that was declared outside of the scope of a function we can view it inside of the scope of that function all right so the next thing that I want to do is to say hey um, let's create a variable here Now, if I create a variable inside of a function scope, can I view it out here, outside of the function scope? So console.log b. And let's see. And so no, not only can I not see it, but my application actually blows up. And you can see the little caret here is right underneath the B and it says B is not defined. So in other words, you can kind of think of it again in terms of the lifespan. We created a function and we created a variable inside of that function. That variable lives as long as that function is running but after the function, after that code block is has completed executing, then B is removed from the computer's memory and essentially thrown away. Therefore, we cannot reference that variable outside of the function because it no longer lives, it's dead, all right? So we're gonna have to comment that out and we can go ahead and comment this out as well. Now, let's do one more thing here. Let's say if A, and we'll just do something silly here. If it's not equal to an empty string, so just two single quote marks next to each other, so uh, then can we still see the value of A even inside this innermost block of code that we define with an if statement? If we can, we should see then it printed here a second time, the value first. Um, so let's save what we have. Let's run this again. And so we see first, first. The first time it's printed out and the second time that it's printed out. All right, so yes, if something is declared in an outside scope, it is visible or it can, it has citizenship in every inner scope from that point on. But here, once again, if we were to create a variable third and then try to reference it outside of the code block in which it was defined, like so, will this work? What do you think? We're gonna get that same kind of error before. We get the little arrow pointing to the C and it says that C is not defined. The variable C was defined inside of this code block and once we uh, executed that code block and got to the end of it, then uh, it C was removed from the computer's memory. It's no longer available to us. In a sense, 
dies and it's no longer available, okay? Now, let's just do one last thing here just to, to kind of understand that we are in fact able to work with uh, the variable that was defined in the outermost scope. Can we still work with it, do it, uh, use it and change its value? So I'm gonna change this to changed and then I'm going to reference it here, console.log A. And so now let's run our application one more time. All right, so the first time that it's run, this first console.log, it will be the value first, but then we change the value and we log it again, and that's where the second change comes from. After we've executed that function, then we execute line 20, and that's where this third changed appears, all right? So I guess the moral of the story, once again, to kind of reiterate what we said, when you declare a variable, you have to understand in which scope it was defined, because based on the scope, or rather the code block in which that variable is defined, it's going to have a lifespan, and it's gonna have citizenship. If it was defined in the outermost scope, it will have its life and its citizenship in all inner scopes. But if it's defined in an innermost scope, it will not be available to outer scopes. Now, one last thing, and I'll kind of end it right here. If we were to take, and this is probably just a question for you, just thought question. If I define B here, right above that if statement, and then I attempt to use it right here, and call this inside if, do you think that we'll be able to reference that value? Well, based on what we know about the rules, I would expect to see the value second uh, printed out. So let's try it. And in fact, we do see it. So hopefully that supports your new understanding of the scope of variables, defining them outside of a code block versus defining them inside of a code block and trying to reference them outside, okay? So hopefully that all makes sense. We wanna make sure you're clear on that. We're gonna revisit the topic of scope because there's a lot more to this, but this is your first introduction so that you kind of understand what the rules of scope are, at least in the most basic sense. All right, so we'll continue on the next video. See you there, thanks.